imagine that here's how you should act. You should act so that things are good for you like they would be for someone you're taking care of. But they have to be good for you in a way that's also good for your family. And they have to be good for you and your family in a way that's also good for society. And maybe even also good for the broader environment if you can manage that. So it's balanced at all those levels. And then they, that has to be good for you and your family and society and the world right now and next week and next month and a year from now and 10 years from now. And so it's this harmonious balancing of multiple layers of being simultaneously. And, and that's, a, that's, a, that's a Darwinian reality, I would say. Your brain is actually attuned to tell you when you're doing that. And the way it tells you is that it, sh it reveals that what you're doing is meaningful. That's the sign that you, and your nervous system is adapted to do this. It's adapted to exist, I would say, on the, on the edge between order and chaos. And chaos is where things are so complex you can't handle it. And order is where things are so rigid that it's too restrictive. In between that, there's a place, a, a place that's meaningful, where you're partly stabilized and partly curious. And you're operating in a manner that increases your scope of, of knowledge. So you're, you're inquiring and growing. And at the same time, you're stabilizing and renewing you, your family, society, nature, now, next week, next month, and next year. And when you have an intimation of meaning, then you know you're there. And I can give you an existential demonstration of that. So imagine that each of these levels of existence, the way I just laid them out, are like patterns. They're patterns within patterns within patterns within patterns. And there's a way of making all that harmonious. That's what music models. That's why music is so meaningful. You know, you, you take a beautiful orchestral composition and all the instruments are doing different things at different levels, but they all flow together harmoniously. And you're right in the middle of that as a listener. And it fills you with a sense of, it's almost like a sense of religious awe, even if you're a punk rock nihilist, you know. And the reason for that is because the music is modeling the manner of being that's harmonious. It's the proper way to exist. And religious writings in the deepest sense, so those are archetypal writings, are, are, are guidelines to that mode of being. So they're not true, like scientific truth is true. They're, I think of them as hyper, they're hyper true or meta true. It's like we take the most true things about your life, and then we take the most true things about 10 other people's lives and we amalgamate them into a single figure and that would be like a that would be like a literary hero and then we take a thousand literary heroes and we extract out from each of them what makes the most heroic person that's a religious deity that's what christ is he's a meta hero and that sits at the bottom of western civilization and his archetypal mode of being is true speech. That's the fundamental idea of Western civilization. And it's right. 